Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the juiciest celebrity news and scandals. Today, we've got a double dose of drama that's rocking the entertainment world. First up, in the music world, Eminem has just dropped his latest bombshell album, The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Grasse, and he's not pulling any punches. On Friday, the legendary rapper unleashed a torrent of fiery verses, taking aim at none other than Sean Diddy Combs, Kanye West, Megan Thee Stallion, and more. At 51, the Stan icon proves he's still got it, using his razor-sharp wordplay to address the serious accusations against Diddy. In the track Fuel, Eminem spits, I'm like a R-A-P-E-R. -E Got so many essays, essays, slyly referencing the rapper's former stage name, P. Diddy. He doesn't hold back, adding, wait, he didn't just spell the words rapper and leave out a P, did he? Ouch. Diddy's ex, Cassie Ventura, ignited the controversy last November by suing him for and abuse. Adding fuel to the fire, surveillance footage from 2016 surfaced, showing Diddy allegedly assaulting her. Though he apologized in a video, the drama escalated with more accusations and an FBI raid amid a trafficking investigation. Diddy staunchly denies all allegations. Eminem doesn't stop at fuel. He keeps the heat on Diddy with tracks like Antichrist, where he raps, next idiot that ask me is getting his beat. Worse than Diddy did. He also throws in some explicit bars, suggesting a violent altercation between Diddy and Cassie. But on the real though, she probably ran out the room with his He tried to field goal punter, she said to chill. No. Now put it back in my and get the steel toe. Fans believe Eminem even resurrected the rumor that Diddy blew up Kid Cootie's car on Bad One featuring white gold. The bomb with the puffy on. I'm blowing up for Kid Cootie's car in front of his house where all his buddies are. But Diddy isn't the only target. Kanye West's erratic behavior gets the slim shady treatment too. On Bad One, Eminem croons, brain is dead, space cadet, like when Ye forgets to take his meds and continues an antichrist, referencing the infamous drama involving West, Kim Kardashian, and Taylor Swift. They want to see me going off the deep end like Ye, eh, nah? Rather see me do like Kim Kardashian, they say. Yeah, yeah, and find a way to get rid of all of this rage. The real slim shady also throws shade at Meg Megan Thee Stallion. On the same song, he raps so hard, Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj will scissor, cut it out, and takes a jab at her alleged shooting by Tori Lanez. Would I really have a shot at a feat? Ah, I don't know, but I'm glad to be back like Abra Abra Kadabra. He raps on Houdini. Eminem's return is nothing short of explosive, proving that even after all these years, he's still the rap game's most formidable wordsmith. Buckle up, because Slim Shady is back and bolder than ever. But this wasn't the first time Eminem faced backlash over his lyrical content. Previous Previously, he had caught heat for his controversial lines about Megan Thee Stallion, and it seemed history was repeating itself. Eminem faced backlash over a lyric in his new song, Houdini, where he referenced the infamous July 2020 shooting involving Megan Thee Stallion and Tori Lanez. The rap superstar's latest track, which dropped on Friday, included the controversial line. If I was to ask for Megan Thee Stallion if she would collab with me, would I really have a shot at a feat? I don't know, but I'm glad to be. One wrote on X, is it too much to ask that as we enter Black Music Month in a few days that folks not allow Eminem to make light of Megan, a BW who was a victim of gun violence to be targeted in a song by a white rapper? Folks are too comfortable disrespecting black women. Another critic chimed in. You ain't dropped an album in 20 years, the people not checking for you any longer, but hey, mention Megan's assault and get the people talking at Eminem, you will crumble. Music journalist Soumya Krishnamurthy also weighed in, slamming Eminem as out of touch and adding via X. Eminem's career has largely been built on being shocking and provocative to certain audiences. Being 51 years old and taking shots at Megan Thee Stallion. Houdini was Eminem's first single off his forthcoming studio album, The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Grasse. Some fans, however, defended the Eight Mile star, noting his history of calling out other artists in his music. If you're offended by the Megan Thee Stallion line in Eminem's hash Houdini, you clearly don't understand no who Slim Shady is. The whole purpose is that he makes fun of everybody, one supporter wrote on X in the rapper's defense. It ain't that deep and it's a good line. This isn't a diss. Another pointed out that perhaps Eminem took a shot at Megan, 29, because she referenced Mariah Carey's diss track about the Without Me rapper. Obsessed in her 2024 song, Hiss, Megan rapped on the track. I feel like Mariah Carey. Got these so obsessed. One social media user commented, Megan Thee Stallion used lyrics from a song shot at EM, but M made a bar with her issue of being shot on the leg and y'all going wild saying Eminem is always going at people. Y'all should staff you. Y'all were hyping Megan when she made that bar. Eminem sees everything, hash Houdini. A spokesperson for Megan declined to comment. Eminem's rep did not return page six's request. The Mockingbird rapper wasn't the first male entertainer to seemingly make light of Megan's shooting. Eminem's pal and longtime collaborator 50 Cent trolled the Savage rapper when he first learned she got shot in her foot and later apologized. Damn, I didn't think this was real. The In Da Club rapper 48 said in July 2020, it sounded so crazy 
Pinocchio at the Stallion. I'm glad you're feeling better. And I hope you can accept my apology. Sick. I posted a meme that was floating around. I wouldn't have done that if I knew you was really hurt. Sorry. In November 2022, Drake cast doubt on Megan's version of events, rapping on Circo Loco. This lie about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. The line caught the wappy rapper's attention, prompting her to respond, Stop using my shooting for clout niggas. Since when the is it cool to joke about sick women getting shot? You niggas, especially rap niggas, are lame. Megan added at the time, ready to boycott about shoes and clothes, but dogpile on a black woman when she says one of y'all homeboys abused her. In December 2022, Lanez, 31, was found guilty of one felony count each of assault with a semi-automatic firearm and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle for the Megan shooting incident. He was also convicted of an additional felony count of discharging a firearm with gross negligence. The love singer was sentenced to 10 years behind bars, which he is currently serving at North Kern State Prison in Delano, Cali. Kanye's sliding scandal. Married rapper caught in DM drama with young model. In a jaw-dropping twist, a 22-year-old model has come forward with allegations that Kanye West slid into her DMs earlier this year, despite being married to Bianca Sensori. Michaela LaFuente recently called out the heartless rapper, 47, for allegedly sending her inappropriate messages in March, asking to hang out. LaFuente, who boasts 3.7 million followers on TikTok was going through her DMs with boyfriend Bryce Hall when she stumbled upon a message from West. At first, I didn't believe it and thought it was a fake account, but it wasn't, she said in a since-deleted post on social media, as reported by the Daily Mail. The message was pretty odd, as I had never spoken to him or seen him in person before. She even included a screenshot of the alleged interaction, which started with West asking if she was based in California. Wanted to see if you wanted to hang and listen to the new album, he allegedly wrote. It's likely he was referring to his Vultures album, which dropped in February. However, La Fuente declined his invitation and is now calling out the controversial rapper for asking to get together despite being twice her age. I don't think it's acceptable to be messaging other women when you're married, she said. It's not acceptable and it's something I'd stand behind forever. La Fuente stated that it was not okay for West to be messaging other women with inappropriate requests. I've grown up with all my family being with their partners forever and this is what I want for my relationship. Monogamy is what is accepted and cheating is unacceptable. Although she denied West's alleged advances, La Fuente worried that others might not. I do not support it, she declared. Maybe they, him and his wife, have an agreement and Bianca knows about it and is cool with it, but we will never know this. La Fuente claims West deleted all of his messages after she shot him down. Reps for the rapper had no comment. West married Sensori in December 2022, just one month after finalizing his divorce from Kim Kardashian. While it's unclear if the duo have an open relationship, they're clearly open about their from PDA-packed boat rides in Italy to Sensori's eyebrow-raising fashion. Aside from their headline-making looks, the pair often stepped out for casual date nights. Earlier this year, they were spotted dining at the Cheesecake Factory on multiple occasions and even enjoyed a date at the Exploratorium in San Francisco on the 4th of July. The pair seemed engulfed in the science exhibit as they walked around the halls hand-in-hand, -hand, stopping at different sections to soak up the information. While West opted for a space-like sweatsuit for the museum date, his wife wore a blue tube top, white translucent leggings, and heels. Kanye's latest this DM scandal adds yet another layer of intrigue to his already complex public persona, leaving fans and critics alike questioning the boundaries of his marriage and his conduct. With his past controversies, like the recent public feud with Eminem, where the real Slim Shady took aim at Kanye's mental health and personal life, Kanye continues to be a polarizing figure in the entertainment world. As always, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Kanye's alleged messages to Michaela LaFuente? Do you believe there might be more to the story? And what are your thoughts on Eminem's jabs at Kanye and other celebrities in his latest album? Share your thoughts and join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all the latest news and updates.